finish it. We want them to finish it. Okay. Well, it's up to you. Is it, does it interfere with your opinion? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, okay, go for it. Okay. What do you feel about the exhibition? Well, this is a fantastic exhibition um, for a whole range of reasons. I think it's a great exhibition of itself, and, and I think the, the standard of the um, painting indicates that Sudhu's a very fine artist on its own. So that, that's great. But the fact that um, he has been able to bring this into the State Parliament, and we're really happy to, to have the exhibition here, um, is a great occasion, and you can tell by the number of people here from the Indian community that are here to support him and this concept. Um, it's really, really good. And I think the work that Sadhu does in his schools in teaching young Indian Australians about their heritage, their culture through art and music um, is really special, really important. And it's a, it's a key part, as a few speakers have said today, a key part of um, our multicultural society, keeping it diverse and, and um, vibrant and exciting. It's what makes Victoria is such a wonderful place to live. We've got all of the wonderful cultures that come here with their culture and share it with us. And I can't think of a better place or a better way to do that than to bring his art in here to the State Parliament today. So do you think uh, this is more relevant in, the, in Canberra as well? Well, I think he should take it to Canberra if he hasn't already done it because um, uh, it's relevant because... Um, I th look, to be honest with you, I think... Um, Victoria, I'm a bit, a bit boastful here. I think Victoria and Victorians probably get multiculturalism better than anywhere else. Um, that sounds a bit boastful, but I think it's true. I think we understand that um, multiculturalism makes us stronger. And there are always challenges, but, but it does make us stronger. And so that's why I think Victorians embrace um, the culture the art and the music of so many other cultures. And of course, as we know, the Indian culture, its, it's music and its art is so vibrant and colourful and, and alive, it's fantastic. So, so whether it's through visual arts or the sort of music um, that, that Sadhu teaches, I think just taking that around Australia or taking it to the nation's capital would be fantastic. So if he hasn't already done it, I'd urge him to do that. I think it's a great idea. That's wonderful if you have if you'll be doing that. Yeah, anyway, and if you have noticed, there will be some uh, there are some details in the you know portraits like the wrinkles, the hair, the style, well, everything. He, so how do you? Oh well, he, his um, ability to represent famous Australians so accurately, but to capture something of their character in the painting. Um, I don't know, I'm not an artist myself, so I marvel at his ability to do that. And um, as I said in my speech earlier on, I was trying to pick my favourite portrait um, yesterday as I was walking around the, uh, the, the hall here, and I wasn't able to find one. I think they've all got something special about them. Uh, and so I think the fact that it's, it's one canvas with 50 portraits is actually um, a really good thing, because I think it, it, it means it's always going to be together and people have to look at it as one piece of art, not separate individual pieces of art. So um, uh, the, only, the only thing is that we need, you know, we need some Indian Australians on the, um, on the canvas soon and, and the contribution that the Indian community is making, I'm sure will mean that in years to come as we look to those great Australians who have made a contribution, there will be many, many Indian Australians who are on this sort of a canvas. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you.